going back a little bit to your experience in 2006 with the German national team, a, a group of young players, and you were given a lot of credit, and deservedly so, for inspiring and motivating that group of young, unproven players. What do you and what can you tell the coaches out there about what you say to encourage young players to really step outside of themselves and really see what they can do at the highest levels of the game? Well, I, I think there's no difference between the levels. You know, it doesn't matter if you train a national team, which is obviously a huge honor, uh, and you go into a World Cup, which is very exciting, uh, but, uh, or if you coach an under-12 or under-10 team in a local club, the elements are the same. You know, you have a group of, of, of kids, of players, that you want to make better, and you want to kind of empower them, and you want to encourage them to do things and try out and to learn. And, and so you become kind of a mentor to that group, to those, uh, uh, to those players. Um, with the same ideas as we discussed before, the, the players have to understand that they, that they are in charge of it, you know, that they have to have that inner hunger. The inner hunger is not coming from the outside. You can't you can give that, you can't teach that, you know. And, and I, I think, you know, when players start to understand that, that it's, it's them making a difference, they are the difference maker, they see now where they have to work towards to, you know, and uh, we have a lot of talents coming through that they have huge opportunities, huge upsides, but they also need to understand that it only goes through work, mm -hmm. hard work, and they need to learn that a national team player is the first one that comes to practice and is the last one that leaves, that he does always additional work at the end of a training session, and say that Juan Agudelo has to ask his assistant coach, give me 20 crosses, you know, or Tim Remus, you know, give me, 50 headers or whatever it is. And a national team player is a role model. And it's, it's, it's not something, you know, where you can say, well, I'm a national team player, now I have to do, I can do less than, than the others. And that's the wrong key. So if I see that, then a player gets a problem with me. Mm. You know, it's, I think it's really important to look at the best athletes around the world. You know, Michael Jordan was always first and last leaving. You know, Lance Armstrong pushed himself over the limits. You know, these amazing, uh, Steve Nash still playing today. He, he knows how to take care of himself with all his issues that, that he has. You know, there, there are players there uh, or athletes that, that, that show that every day. And then that's when they start actually come, to come out and, and, and make a difference or do things differently or try things out, you know. And we encouraged the German team over two years to, to, to take risks, to try things out, to learn out of mistakes, you know, to make them in first place, you know. And, uh, um, and it's always, obviously, it's always a, 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 a fine line that you're walking on because uh, at the same time, people want to see results. Mm. They want to see wins <laughs> and they want to, you know, know where the, the country is, you know. And I, I got my, my share load of critics, you know, in the two years leading up towards the World Cup for not winning every game and for uh, here and there getting a lesson maybe by another country. Uh, but I said, no, but the players are on the right track. Um, you could so see the I, I could see it, and I think every coach now also at the convention has a very good feeling for his own team, for the characters, the different you know, uh, uh, types of, of, of personalities that you deal with, and, and every person is different, so how do I put that all together? But I think the most wonderful part of our job as, as coaches there is, is really that you have a huge influence on these kids on these players, wherever it is, going forward, you know. So, so you kind of lead the way, you, your guide, but obviously they have to then implement all the things the way they think is the right thing. So uh, I think it's, 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 it's a huge um, responsibility that we have, it's, uh, but it's also a huge opportunity, you know. And the biggest compliment that uh, I'm sure that many coaches at the convention get after years and years there in the, in the whole soccer world is, when players from years ago come back to them or see them, whatever occasion, or give them a call and say, hey, coach, I haven't forgotten this, yes, you know, well thanks a lot. And I think especially in the, that happens a lot in the college game environment as well, or school environment. And, and I think this is the biggest compliment a coach can get.